What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Going to be playing some Pokemon trading card game online this morning. Also going to be testing for the Denver Regional Championships. Made a last-minute decision with Natalie that we are going to be traveling to the Denver Regional Championships in just a week's time. So not this weekend, but next weekend. Going to Denver to play in the standard regional championship that they are holding there. So... It is crunch time, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be crunch testing for the Denver Regional Championship standard format and seeing what we can come up with. Obviously, we've got uh, Pikachu, Zekrom, Tag Team, GX, and Zapdos are kind of like top of the rotation for that tournament, but we also have some other avenues that we have to explore, such as Zork and Blocephalon, things like that. In fact, I actually do not see my Blocephalon in here at all, so I wonder what happened to my Blocephalon deck. Either way, it's all good. I'm going to warm up with Picaram here while we get people into the chat, and should be fun this morning. All right. Pikachu, Zekrom, Tag Team GX, what's up, E-Parks? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us this morning. Should be pretty lit not gonna lie i uh, just uh woke up got myself one of these monster hydros so i am feeling hydrated and ready to go now uh this is uh this is gonna be a pretty exciting trip we got a lot of my friends are going to this to the denver regional so we got pretty much the whole squad's gonna be flying out there and then also um yeah Whole squad's going to be flying out, and Full Grip is going to be vending there as well. So a lot of exciting stuff going down at Denver, and I'm excited to be a part of it. Looks like we've got a pretty dope starting hand here. Honestly, if I could flip a heads on this order pad, this starting hand is going to be lit. What's up, Brian? How we doing, y'all? Thank you guys for joining me this morning. It looks like we're playing against a Gyarados deck. All right, all right. I always pick, like, the deck that I'm most comfortable with is, like, my warm-up deck, right? Because to be honest, look, okay, so I woke up maybe less than an hour ago. Woke up less than an hour ago, and this is how much caffeine I've had so far, all right? There has been no other caffeine in the equation. What's up, Zach? Thank you so much for the 300 bits, my dude. Appreciate it. Oh, idiots are us. Thank you so much, Zach. You are the best. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, excellent, Brian. Yes, I think that uh, Peak Round's good in expanded format as well. I always pick the deck I'm most comfortable with the warm up, though. Like I said, this is how much caffeine I've had so far today that is not nearly enough, right? Uh, in order to uh, <laughs> in order to help me here, you read the back of the bottle. It says helps increase concentration. That's a bold claim there, Monster, but I do need a little bit of that for sure. That would be fantastic. Additionally, I know, King Pizza, I was running late is the thing. I was running late to work this morning. Dude, my opponent ain't even there, bro. You ain't even there. You're going to make me win this game and you're not even present. Oh, well. It's fine. Hey, I don't mind playing against an opponent that's not there. Order up. Come on. Yup, that's what I'm talking about. Get there, deck. Get there. Check this out. We're getting a turn one. Guys, you ready to see a turn one full blitz? Y'all want to see a turn one full blitz? Let's go, chat. Let's get a turn one full blitz in standard format in 2019, current year. All right, Ray Ray. Yeah, do your thing, Ray Ray. Do your thing. Yes, that's fine. And then uh, we can Electro Power Choice Band. Let's go, Lily, for eight. And we'll see what we can do here. I, I told you. I told you, right? Like, I told you we were getting the turn one full blitz. I told you. Maybe some of you guys didn't believe me. You're like, oh, Andrew, you're so silly. Picaram can't get the turn one full blitz in standard format. Wrong. Not only am I getting the turn one full blitz, <laughs> I am also getting the turn one full blitz let loose. Yikes. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry, opponent. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one for you to win, my guy. And uh, then also we're going <laughs> to... 
<laughs> Get wrecked. Yep, that's what we got going on. Yeah. Dude, this is nuts. It's four energy in play turn one, guys. Four energy in play, right? They don't even get to see this happening here. We're just going to go boom. And then see three energy. Yeah, yeah. Alpha mode. There we go. That's what we got. And then can you respond, my man? You got it like that? Huh? What you got? You stop with the rock is cooking here. Oh, you are there. You're there. Oh, I thought that they weren't there. Uh, but apparently their hand was just so bad, right, that they just actually did nothing on the first turn, which is definitely believable. This deck can make, I bet you he punishes me. I bet you he goes Gyarados here and gets like, I bet you he gets Gyarados and like seven energy, just whatever he needs to just like absolutely blast me. Okay, no. He's just gonna go be good. This is this is just great. Yeah, we're gonna take out the Ditto. And also this Vulpix here while attaching to my benched person over here. We're actually gonna pivot into Zeraora, I think. Um, I don't know. Attacking with Zeraora is good. Because let's see, we could actually as long as this Pokemon's on your bench, prevent all damage done to it. Oh, yeah. Totally what we want to do here. Guzma up the carp. And then we're going to tag bolts both the carp and the ditto so that my opponent cannot actually get a Gyarados next turn. That's definitely the play. Yep, feels pretty good. And we're just cruising here. Cruise control, ready to roll. Busted deck. Oh, thank you, JW, for those five bits there. Appreciate it. Uh, and also, welcome, Dankus. Blue Bronco. All y'all, thank you guys for hanging out this morning. Now, uh, Natalie and I, like I had said, have made the last minute decision to travel to. Oh my gosh, how did he get all these? Where did they come from? Oh, he elmed. Okay. I made the last minute decision to travel to Denver, so I'm gonna be running a bunch of promos, um, a bunch of like promotions, I guess, like uh, tomorrow and the next day and the next day in order to try and raise money for the trip because uh, to be honest, it was a last minute decision and I wasn't really planning on it, so it is kind of tight, but uh, I'm gonna be doing like a bunch, of, a bunch of like sales and stuff on Tricky Gym merch and things like that. So make sure to stay tuned for that as well. Also going to be selling a bunch of cards out of my personal collection. So if you're interested, Sean and I are also doing an auction this weekend, probably on Verbank City Mart. So we're going to be auctioning away a bunch of cards, like live streaming while we auction. So that's going to be a lot of fun as well. And I'll keep you guys posted on when we are doing that. All right, let's attach an energy and actually get rolling here. See what we got. Hmm. Looks like we could be taken to... Yeah, probably, to be honest, like, uh, no, given the Viridian seems, like, really good for him. Uh, I actually should probably just be attaching to my Zeraora here, to be perfectly honest. It's just uh, a little bit sketch if he's actually able to get a, yeah, let's, uh, just, let's just do that. Switch! If he can actually score a one-hit knockout on this guy, it's going to be a little bit rough. But, yeah, I guess... We can nest ball, it's fine. Thin the deck a little bit more. Actually should technically be attacking with Zapdos this turn. Um, for sure, for sure. See, have we attached yet for turn? I don't think so, but hey, we'll see. Okay. Ooh, I got one more energy switch, so busted. Okay, now we're gonna switch here. Oh, thank you so much, Zach. Oh, you are way too nice, Zach. Thank you so much for those bits, my man. You rock, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the 500 bits. Every bit helps for the Denver Fund, Zach. So you are the man. Thank you. All right, we're going to Thunder Salt that Vulpix. Take it out. And our board is just rocking and rolling here. Ain't nothing can stop us. Zach, you're the best, dude. You rock, man. Oh my gosh, Natalie, backing it up with 200 bits. Thank you so much, Natalie. Appreciate it. Been vigorously watching those advertisements on Twitch, saving up some bits there, so thank you, Natalie, as well. All right, we're about 
30% caffeinated now. I would like to obtain six water. Whoa! All right, so six, six times three, what? That would have been 210? Not enough to knock out a peek around. We Gucci. We cool. Okay. So five, I, I guess now we actually are just going back to back peak arms. Thank you so much, Junior Minds, for the fourth month sub. So it's the best Pokemon trading card game content out there. Thank you so much. That means a lot. That really does. So I really, really appreciate you. All right. We are not trying to give my opponent uh, anything here. I mean, really, as long as I just like attack, I really just need to attack two more turns doesn't matter. I just have, you know, the game kind of built up on board here. So I just need to attack one more time and we should just have it against the Gyarados, the scary Gyarados deck. Not gonna lie, the deck is very scary. Uh, if they hit all seven, they are rocking two. There we go. Yep, that's a one hit KO on a Picaram. Unfortunately, sir, too little too late because I've got myself a Picaram ready to take the final prize so major yikes there gyarados can actually take you know one hit ko's on picaroms but with the turn one full blitz shoo i mean what else do you really want out of your deck that is uh that is pretty filthy disgusting if i do say so myself we'll uh we'll rock that one more time and see if we can't uh i don't know see if we can't do it again back to back turn one full blitz let's get it Thank you so much for the sub there and everybody who follows the channel. Really, really appreciate it. We're going second. So, oh, my opponent, Taku Pokeka. You have, oh, this is a horrendous starting hand. All right. We are not getting the turn one full blitz this game, guys. That is uh, not happening. But I would like to take a moment for everybody to sit and appreciate my opponent's very lovely Salazzle hat, okay? It's a very nice Salazzle hat you got there, Mr. Taku Pokeka, okay? Uh, every no, why are you doing this? Uh, that's fine. Actually, kind of low-key. Oh, this is even better. You saw my trash hand and are let loosing me. It's actually just fine. Still a trash hand, but slightly better than what I was working with there previously. So we'll take it. Okay. At this rate, pretty sure we are playing against, let's see here. We attack. Should I actually just go in and try to get a turn one zero aura? I think so. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to thin my deck as much as I can because to be honest, I just need to rip off this let loose. So, oh baby. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Turn one, Zara Aura. I'll take it. If we can get the turn one, Zara Aura, I'm into it. Okay. I've already attached for turn. Unfortunate. I should have uh, Ultra Ball both Lightning Energies away. That just seemed very aggressive. And I also low key forgot that I had already attached. So it's fine. Like I said, only 50% caffeinated at this point, but we're Gucci. Okay. So. We've attached, we can energy switch. It's not really gonna get me there, but I could get potentially a Tapu Coco off this order pad, busted card. All right, so we're gonna go get that fella and then we're gonna be ready to rock and roll. Uh, actually, I could, no, I can't, I can't knock it out. Yeah, we're just gonna get uh, oh, my Prism Star is prized. Why are you prized, Tapu Coco Prism Star? Now I'm wishing that I had not done this. All right, I wish that I had gotten the ray now. Ugh. Ah, it just feels so bad. Had I not searched the deck yet? I don't think I'd searched the deck. I felt like I didn't know this. Okay. Tapu Coco. But I searched the deck with Order Pad. I just did it so fast that it just now kind of feels bad. It's cool though. All right, we'll uh, oh, we'll just get a second Picaram. Ain't nothing wrong with having two Picaroms in play. Okay, we're just gonna, you know, we got our one energy 
on board. That's all we got. Okay, go ahead and pass. Really sad. Really, really sad. It's all good. Oh, Brady, Thunder Bits. Thank you so much, Brady, for the bits there, dude. Appreciate it. And Kevin. Oh, with those nice rainbow flag bits. Thank you so much, Kevin. Appreciate you. Um, oh, you ordered some cards for the Charizard deck, and you want to have one full art trainer in each of your decks. And there weren't any full art lilies in stock. Oh, no, Zach. Full art lilies are hard to come by, to be honest. They are definitely tough to find. Uh, this is the easier one to find from Sun and Moon, but they can be tough. All right, looks like we're getting Guzman up here. My opponent's going to start to get lost all my energy. That is what I imagine is about to happen. Yeah, this is going to be a pain, guys. A little bit of a grinder. Fortunately, I know that Tapu Koko being prized is just so bad. It's so bad. Okay, let's go. We're going to go here. We need to find the ray. Okay, we got two lightnings in the discard pile. We're going to Stormy Winds. Yup, that's fine, didn't need him. There we go. Definitely attaching to the active, definitely energy switching up to the active. And if we Lily for one more energy switch, we're in there. Yeah, well, not quite. So go ahead, that's fine. <laughs> That's <laughs> what we got. Oh, no, chat. The Tapu Koko being prized is so bad. Oh, my opponent's just gladly going to get lost again. I think I'll probably still end up winning this game just because my opponent's not doing... They're actively just doing nothing, right? We do need to take care of this guy, like, right now, though. Like, well, we just need to get him out, out the way for sure. I only have one lightning left in this deck. Oh, they're all gone. That is so sad. Okay, yeah, sure. I guess we're going on to that bench Zero Aura. I can't really justify going anywhere else. I have no lightning left in the discard pile. He's lost zone four of them. This is really, really brutal here. And then I have to imagine, since I think he's playing a control version of this deck. He might also be playing the Lugia with Lost Purge. Oh, Crushing Hammers. Dude, that is just, this is just brutal. And he's going to keep throwing things back into the deck. Uh, that is, uh, that is super, super tough. Oh, Natalie, thank you so much. Sparksy asking in your cube, how do you keep your pack separated? We actually just keep the cube in one yeah, in one like block, and then I we break them up into like 15 card packs right before we draft, and then we just shuffle it all back together after we're done. So yeah, it's looking like we ain't got too much going on here, though I think knocking out Azurua would be good, but also just like taking care of this, you know, yeah, just let's just knock out the Oranguru to be honest. Uh, they are not trading right now, so we're just gonna keep marching through here and hope that we can make some dreams happen. I do have double energy switch in this hand though, so I don't think that my opponent plans on taking any knockouts, which means that if we can just get like one more energy into play, this Tapu Koko is not going to be there for us, I don't think. Oh yeah, go ahead and Guzma, that's fine. Well, you think the Ray, you think you think I can't move that Ray, dude? You think, you think I ain't got, I got triple energy switch, dog. I can move that ray if I want to, but it's cool. We're just going to knock out probably the ditto. It seems kind of scary. I don't know. Uh, we'll go full blitz that thing. I know the Lele also an option, but I can just Guzma that for game probably. I want to weaken my opponent's board as much as I can. Ooh, we got the energy. So this is game here. I got energy, double energy switch, tag bolt. No, don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> So sad. Oh, I almost had it. Okay, so we're just going to actually have to just full blitz again. Uh, and then I just have Guzma full blitz with the energy switch for that Lele for game. And, uh, you know, sketchy, but my opponent actually did not do anything. So 
It's uh, it's all going to be fine. It looks like they finally have an Ultra Ball, and they'll have to Ultra Ball their entire hand away to get, a, you know, a Lele. Yeah, so that's, like, pretty brutal. They would have to remove so many energy this turn in order to keep me from winning that I don't think that it's actually possible. But we'll hold on tight, see if they got it like that. And go from there. All right, all right. See, they do finally, apparently they do play Zork. Didn't know, couldn't tell from the uh, yeah, from the deck. Looked like it might have just been a Zerua deck, not sure. And they got Acerola's DCs. Wow, they really got a lot going on in this deck that I did not get to see this game. And another Zork. Wow, it's all happening so fast now. But too little too late. Though I did have to suffer four Lightning Energy making it to the Lost Zone there. That was definitely tough. Resource management, not going to get them there. We've got the Choice Band, Guzma. And are just going to wipe out, yeah, that thing, the Lele. Get him gone. What deck do you guys want to see next? All right, peek around, coming in hot with a nice little performance here. But is there anything that you guys want to see uh, me square up with? GG's, no re. Let's get it. Not trying to play against your little stall deck again. Definitely not. Oh, Zeely, do you want to see Zoroark? Is that your favorite deck, Zeely? All right, let's see what we got here. We got Vicaray, Zapdos, Zoroark. Oh, Zoroark. Passimian, Mal Azak. You say Malamar, I play Malamar. I did delete the deck, though. I <laughs> deleted it. I was having a rage, uh, a rage fit. And I was deleting decks that were not performing up to my standards. And Malamar, Malamar hit the chopping block for sure. I'll see if I can find a Malamar. I can find a Malamar deck. All right, let's see. Whose Malamar list are we taking? Oh, there was one. Eric Henrique, Henriques finished in third at the special event in El Salvador. Okay, that's cool. And then the Perth Regional, we got two top eight lists. Okay, let's see what Eric's list look like. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what this list looks like. All right, export to PST CGO. Sure. Apparently, there's a Gengar Mimikyu in this list, though. I don't actually think that I. I don't know that I own one of those. We're gonna give it a shot, though. Malamar did get canceled. You guys remember that? It's fine. Hey, nothing like a good old rerun. Listen, Zach. Zach up there, all alone on the top of that leaderboard. Whatever Zach says goes, bro. <laughs> and then Zach Pra also with 100 bits for Psychic Recharge. So we got it here. Uh, let's see. Apparently, I do not own a Gengar Mimikyu. No worries. I don't like that card. So we're not playing it. Uh, we will instead play. Ooh, only a 3-3 Malabar line. What is up with this? Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh boy. Oh, these Malamar players. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. All right, I'm playing a Dawn Wings, bro. I'm telling you, Dawn Wings. It's just like, why is everybody hating on Dawn Wings? Ain't nobody playing Dawn Wings lately. I'm going to play a Dawn Wings. All right, we're going to go here. Malamar. And, uh, yup, yup, yup. Gucci. Rocking and rolling here. Yeah, we need the Psychic Dragon. Very good. Sick. <laughs> I know. Hey, Kevin. I know. It's okay. Listen, we got a rocket here. Uh, we got a rocket here. You guys wanted to see the Pika Pads list, or we're calling it Tricky Rom. All right, I was just like, I need to rename the list. All right, if this catches on, it's Tricky Rom. That's what we got to. A uh, Pika Pad, that's actually an embarrassing name. It's a horrible name. JW and I were just memeing when we created the deck. Okay, Pika Pads, that's yeah, alright, it's gonna be tricky round. Alright, that's 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 the that's the list. It's tricky round. Alright, there we go. Boom. So that's that is it from now on. If you're here, okay. Pikachu Zekrom order pad, tricky round. That's it. I'm canceling Pika Pads. Sorry, it was fun while it lasted, but the deck is like actually good, so I need a non meme name for it. All right, let's get it in with Malamar. <laughs> Too late, it's Pika Pads forever. <laughs> hey, 
Never forget Pika pads, all right? Never forget. <laughs> Natalie was so mad when JW and I were naming it Pika Pad. <laughs> I was talking to JW, we were building it. And this is how J JW and I build decks. We'll be sitting there and like, we'll just be like throwing cards out on the table. So like, this is right after expanded, you know? So we're breaking down all of our expanded lists. And we're like, all right, let's build Pikachu Zekrom. What cards do we need in there? All right, Picaroms. So we throw some Picaroms on the table. And we're like, all right, you know, some Ultra Balls. Throw Ultra Balls on the table. And like, I get to the point where I'm like, all right, Acro Bikes. Throw Acro Bikes on the table. And then like, I'm just literally lurking, looking through like my bulk box. And I'm like, what about order pads? And then JW will be like, yup. And I'm like, oh yeah. And we like ship it, toss it on the table. And uh, we don't have no idea if it's even like remotely good or not, but we'll uh, you know we'll just ship it. That's just how it goes. All right, so we're gonna do pretty busted plays here. Yeah, cycle for an energy and then discard another one. Insano. All right. And then what? We got a switch in this hand. Okay. Alrighty then. I think we just have to go for an ink. Yep, that's just what we got. JW's in the chat. Yep, and then like we're getting there further in, and I'm still looking through the bulk box, and I'm like, wishful baton, and JW's like, yup. <laughs> so we toss a wishful baton in the deck. Uh, JW is like my ultimate enabler, you know. Like, everybody needs somebody who just, like, enables you sometimes to be your best version of yourself. JW enables me to be the best, uh, to be the best deck builder I can be. I know. I already know, Kevin. Listen, Kevin. A 3-3 Malamar line. How? How could it be possible? I mean, I guess with the 3 3 Malamar line, I got much more room in the deck for just straight gas, right? Like, we have one more Inke left in the deck. Like, I could for sure. I just, there's no actual way that I beat a Zapdos deck with this. But you know what? We're going to give it a, the good old collegiate attempt. Okay, that's fine. Yup, go ahead. Ah, uh, because. <laughs> oh, a 3 3 Malamar line. Holy moly. It's just so tough. When I saw Pika pads, I thought you misspelled Pika pals until I saw the order pads. Oh my gosh. Zach, I have to say, yes, Nitto Queen, very fun. Carl the Chemist, thank you so much for the second month sub there to Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. If you have Amazon Prime, you can get a sub for free, which means that you would get to use all of the busted emotes, such as the busted emote here. Uh, all the best offerings from Tricky Jim. But thank you so much for that sub, Carl. And pleasure to have you on board here. Oh, yeah. What do you, so this is the problem, okay? This right here, this is the problemo, is that our Inkes just get just smoke showed out here. And I only got one rescue stretcher in the deck. So, like, what's a man supposed to do about this? Like, what is a man honestly opposed to do? All right. Here we go. I think I got to go here. We got to nest ball. Holy moly. All right. Let's see here. We're going to need probably the Absol. Thank you, Dark Static, with the Twitch Prime sub as well. Second month in a row. Hype. All right. I think the Absol will help us. I think. And then I also think we're going to go here. Yep, that's probably okay. Yep, just got to get rid of that. Sorry. But we're not going to be doing too much psychic recharging out here. And I actually think I kind of want to low-key use this uh, escape rope and just hit the Jirachi here, leave the Zapdos active, and hope that they can't respond. So I'm going to Stellar Wish first. Got a mysterious treasure. That's cool. I'll actually just use that to go and get a Malamar... And, yep, then we can just Psychic Recharge. That'd be great. Cool. All right. Here we go. Cruising. And we got a Psychic Recharge first. Don't forget it. 
and then escape route. Bring up the Jirachi. Bring them out. Bring them out. Yeah. You did. You already did. And then Cynthia for six. So, yeah. All right. I wish there was an Inke in my deck that I could go get, but I cannot. So, we're going to have to take a look at what other offerings my deck has. Like, potentially, these are all bad. Yep. None of these feel good. None of them. Yep. Cool. All right, we're going to get a Jirachi. Gucci. And then Sky Scorching. Nope, Full Tone Geyser. That's it. That's the attack name. And we've got it. All right. So taking a knock out there. Going to hope that my opponent just cannot respond. I know that I do have an Inke somewhere here in the prizes. I also have a Malamar somewhere here in the prizes. Until then, uh, we're just going to be using Photon Geyser for 100 damage. What does go for the slap mean? What is the what is the slap? Oh, oh, you're talking about Jirachi's attack slap. You want me to go for the slap, Kevin? That's what that's what you want, right here. Thirty damage. Is that doing it for you? You think that's uh, it's gonna get me there? Feels a little bit questionable. Not gonna lie. Whoa, whoa there, partner. We've got a Tapu Koko uh, on the scene. Okay. Preserves your, <laughs> your energy. Dude, this next turn, I'm bringing up this Coco. We're just going to slap that Coco with my Photon Geyser. That's what we're going to do. Tell you what. Uh, I will say that this, you know, the guy who built this list is correct in thinking that Malamar needs a ton of cards in order to be successful. But unfortunately... The place we saw the cut was in the Malamar line, but that's the problem with Malamar is that it probably wants like 65 cards in the deck um, to like, you know, it wants 65 cards, but it doesn't want to be a 65 card deck. It wants to be a 60 card deck with 65 effects in it, right? <laughs> it's just uh, really, really tough. In fact, if there was an item card that says search your deck for five basics and put them into play, then Malamar would be playable. In my opinion, you know, just search it for five basic Pokemon. All right. Basic and or evolution Pokemon. If there was an item card that said that, <laughs> that'd be an entirely unhealthy item card. But then Malamar would be playable. All right, here we go. Boom. Let's bring up that fella here. And we're going to discard the Tina and get ourselves a psychic energy. Throw a challenge in the list. That's what I'm saying, Kevin. Dude, challenge is a busted card. All right. We're going to not be bad and Stellar Wish here first. Escape. There we go. <laughs> There's an item that ends the opponent, though, while we're on the unhealthy item discussion. Is there an item that ends the opponent? What is that, Booski? Go ahead and uh, enlighten me. I'm not sure that I'm following what you're picking up there. Okay, yeah. All right, one of copy of Malamar. You need to make it through the next turn. If you do not make it through the next turn, this game is donezo. Don't even think about, don't even think about coming home tonight. Okay, I'm not gonna be happy if you don't make it through the turn. Okay, here we go. So we've got Photon Geyser. We're doing 180 damage. You have 170 hit points. Let's get it. Here we go. Let's let's go. Photon Geyser. Boom. What is Reset Stamp? It's called Reset Stamp. It was revealed an hour ago. Poke Beach. All right, let's, uh, let's pull it up. Poke Beach. Drifloon, Coach Chainer, and Reset Stamp revealed from GG End. All right, here's Reset Stamp. Your opponent shuffles their hand in their deck, and your opponent draws a card for each of the remaining prize cards. Whoa! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that card is nuts. Okay. Reset Stamp's pretty good. Should I have used Tina there? Could I have knocked it out with the Tina? Technically. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you, guys, for paying more attention to me. I could have gotten that knockout with the Tina. 130, Choice Band 160, plus the 10. Could I have done it? I don't... Could I have gotten three energy on the Tina? I thought that was my problem, is that I could not have gotten three energy on the Tina since I only have one Malamar. That's why I'm not, like, thinking about Tina. 
Let me know if I'm wrong, though. I'm pretty sure I could not use Tina there because I only have one Malamar. So with only one Psychic Recharge, it ain't happening. That's just my thought. But anyways, reset, stamp. Uh, okay. Sure, yeah, we could do that. He's going to scoop it up, though. So we got there. Skirt. Okay. So let's talk about this reset stamp, though. I want to talk about reset stamp. All right. Here we go. We're going to take a brief hiatus. It's going to take a brief moment here to talk about the implications of these new cards. What in the world do we got going on here? Let's go. All right. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have to go into the video and uh, yeah, window that out. Oh, no. My desktop laid bare. You guys can see. All right. Skirt. All right. And full screen. View. Uh, enter the full screen. There we go. All right. Check this out. Wow. Look at that. Skirt. We've got reset stamp. For those of you guys who have not heard about reset stamp. New card just revealed from GG End. I'm here on pokebeach.com, my favorite place to get news and translations for the Pokemon trading card game. Reset stamp. Your opponent shuffles their hand into their deck, then your opponent draws a card for each of the remaining prize cards. You may play as many item cards as you like during your turn. So, all right, chat, give me your thoughts. I know, right? We definitely need to have early morning news. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to start doing this for sure, for sure, in the morning sessions. Uh, it's uh, I just keep forgetting. But definitely a good idea. Chat, let me know. What are your thoughts on this card? Press 1 if you think the card is very good. Press 2 if you think it's not that good. All right? 1 if you think it's good. 1 if you think busted. 2 if you think overrated. All right? One busted, two overrated. All right, we got a lot of busteds coming in. All right. We got one Brave Soul Ryan saying potentially overrated. I could see it. I could see it, Ryan. I could see it being a little overrated. Okay. Now, I think this card is good. Okay, the card is definitely good. But imagine this. Okay. Imagine this. So, reset stamp. How many of these do you have to play in your deck to see it when you want to see it? How many copies of reset stamp do you need to play in your deck in order to have it when your opponent has two prizes left or one prize left, right? Because it's not an N. It's not an N because it doesn't draw you cards. Thank you so much, Natalie, for the bits. Thank you. Appreciate it. I know, Trainer Joe, you only need one in Tricky Rom. It's going to be busted in Tricky Rom. Also, Volkner finds it. Okay, I like that, Sir Pandage. Volkner finds it. Okay. So, Travis, playing two to three copies of this in your deck, I think if you play two to three copies of this card in your deck, your deck will be clunked up with it, and you won't be playing more optimal cards in your list, right? So it doesn't actually, I think that this card would only be good in decks as like a one of, okay? Maybe a one of, two of tops. But I think if your deck plays a way to find it, then it can potentially be good. I think Tricky Rom, right, with order pads is like good as a one of, okay? I think Decks that play Volkner as a one-of, it's pretty good, right? But at the end of the day, is it more reliable than Let Loose Marshadow? Like, it is way more disruptive than Let Loose Marshadow. Being able to limit your opponent to one card or two cards is incredibly good, right? So I think there's a lot of discussion to be had on this card. I don't think it's overpowered. Not at all, because it doesn't do anything to advance your own board, unlike N. I think N is just a better card, uh, all in all. N is just a stronger card, of course. I think that that is pretty 
set in stone because N also draws you cards, so it's just like a, uh, you know, and it's a stronger card because it's never a dead card in your deck because it's active turn one. This card, if you see this card turn one, you're going to be like pretty salty, right? Because you're like, I don't want to use this card turn one. Make my opponent shuffle draw six, they're gonna love that, right? So, I think if you see this card turn one, your opponent's gonna be hype on that. So, you won't wanna see it early, which means that you wanna play less copies of it, which means that one is probably as much as anybody would wanna need or want to play. And I don't think it'll be played in every deck. I think it'll only see play in some decks, and those decks that'll play it are decks that can search it out easily, right? Decks that can search it out easily. So that's my thoughts on that. Just initial thoughts right off, right off rip, okay? It's my first time seeing the card. So very cool, though. It is definitely a card worthy of discussion. Up next, we've got Coach Trainer. Draw two cards. If your active Pokemon is a tag team Pokemon, draw two more cards. All right, press one in the chat if you think this card's busted. One if busted, two if not good. <laughs> All right, let me know. Coach Trainer, draw two cards. If you active Pokemon's a tag team Pokemon, draw two more cards. Two if not good. All right, we're getting a lot of twos rolling in here. All right, chat, yeah, I feel ya. Yeah, I think that honestly, uh, I think uh, Erica's is better. Let's talk about cards that I think are better than this card. I think Erica's Hospitality is better than this card. I think that uh, also, what, Sophocles is better than this card. I think Underground Expedition is better than this card. I think that Lily is better than this card, right? I think that there's a lot of cards that are just strictly better. Now, if you're playing a deck that is strictly tag team Pokemon, okay? So, like, I saw some Feromosa lists, okay? I saw some Feromosa lists, um, like Boswell Feromosa lists, right? That only play Boswell Feromosa. I think if you are playing a Buzzwole Feromosa Tag Team GX deck that only plays Buzzwole Feromosa, and this card might as well just read, draw four cards, then that's pretty good, okay? Uh, so I think that, that this that's the only deck that I really see this fitting in. Otherwise, I'd rather be playing a more consistent draw supporter because I would just be so sad if I ever had to use this to draw only two cards. At that point, you might as well just be playing Mars, Right? So that's that's my opinion there. And then Drifloom. We got this tiny blurry picture of Drifloom and apparently he rams for 10 damage. Okay, that's it. Very cool. That's the morning news. And for those of you guys that did not see our Unbroken Bonds pre-release promos also have been revealed. So we have got Persian, Melmetal, Stakataka, and Volcanion. All right, let's take a look at all these fellas real quick. Look at that lovely looking Persian. Look at that. Wow, that is nice, isn't it? Right. Oh, thank you so much, Natalie. Booking the Denver Hotel, appreciate it. And so the Persian there, it's got cats gathering. Each year Pokemon play with a cat day attack. Pay no energy to use their attacks. That's very cool. And then there's Melmetal. All right, check him out. It's like the uh, Michelin Man, but with gears instead of, you know, I guess tires, right? And yes, Daniel Davis, there will be a Denver vlog. Very much looking forward to vlogging there. I have got my GoPro right here, ready to vlog for sure, for sure. All right, so let's read the, oh, see, look here, you know, sometimes John will be funny, he says evolves from Ditto Nut. That is not what the name of that Pokemon is called. It's not Ditto Nut. There's no such thing as a Ditto Nut, right? Evolves from Ditto Nut. That is not real, okay? But sometimes John will be funny because if people try to plagiarize his uh, work, he'll be able to tell because he puts intentional typos in there. Thank you, Rob, for the bits. Appreciate it. All right. Mail Metal. Metal Eater. Once during your turn before you attack, you may discard a metal Pokemon card from your hand, then heal 100 damage from this Pokemon. Wow. Uh, and then Heavy Impact, 130 damage. Got 150 hit points. Stage one. Stakataka. 
Ability, Stone Fence. If your opponent has three or less prize cards remaining, this Pokemon's maximum HP is 200. As a basic Pokemon, that's pretty rad. Okay. And then Fighting, Fighting, Colorless, top down. 110 damage. Flip a coin until you get Tails for each heads. Discard a card from the top of your opponent's deck. Whoa. Okay. Oh, that's what's up, Natalie. Excellent. And then Volcanion. First of all, I do want to say that the artwork on this Volcanion is epic. This is very nice, okay? I really, really like that. That is some good artwork. Flare Starter. Search your deck for a fire energy card. Reveal it and attach it to one of your Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck. If you're the player going second on your first turn, you may search your deck for three fire energy instead of one and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. So interesting first attack there, which uh, pays off if you're going second. And then High Heat Blow, 50 damage. If there are four more fire energy attached to your Pokemon in play, it does 60 more damage. All right, cool. So that is it for the morning news. Let's get back to some Pokemon trading card game online here. I am, uh, I'm done. All right, view. Exit full screen. Oh no, my desktop. Sick. All right, and look at my tiny little screen here. No longer windowed, apply. Busted. There we go. Oh, we won one with Malamar. And then I saw some other requests in the chat. What do we, we wanted to see Donald's. Yeah, we wanted to see Donald Sword, didn't we? All right, we'll rock a game with Donald Sword real quick. Oh, Daniel, good question. Nope, got to do a little bit more testing for sure, for sure. Uh, I do want to roll a game with Donald Sword here real quick. That deck's just so fun. I mean, just such a fun deck to play. And you get in there with a Genesex and just do a ton of damage. Right. Oh, take it easy, Travis. Thank you for joining us this morning. Even when you're at work. All right, we've got a win streak to take care of, and we're putting our win streak in the hands of Donald Sore, uh, which is, of course, Dark Integral's Venusaur deck that he smoked me with on stream the other day. So, we've got a Poipo here going first. Things are starting off strong. Feeling it. Wish Wolpaton is low-key a good card right now in standard format. What in the world is this? Oh, my gosh. All right. Hey, Travis, somebody's got to be in charge. Excellent stuff, man. You go enjoy that corporate meeting, dude. But yes, this is, uh, has anybody else noticed? I've noticed when, like, ever since the new patch update in Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, I'll get, like, these weird kind of fuzzy glitch-looking, you know, animations as I'm scrolling through my deck. All right, we're going to need ourselves a Bulbasaur. And then it's looking like Cynthia Town, definitely the place we're trying to visit here. Uh, Terminal Lily just seems kind of, Lackluster, right? Ooh, this is good though. Definitely don't mind this. We've got Shaman, Prism Star, Nest Ball. Can go get myself potentially Vulpix. Or I could just go get like a Pokemon to continue setting up, which is good. I don't actually feel like I need the Vulpix. Like we can just go in here with. You know, Shining Genesec probably, and just get like some quick attacks. So, fine with that. And then we already know my opponent's going to try to more than likely remove my energy from play, which is mildly annoying. But I'll probably just switch into the Shaman. And then, yeah, let's just uh, let's pass. Free retreat. Pretty good. I know, nobody's playing Field Blower. Can't really afford the space in your deck for Field Blower right now since a lot of the stadiums are Prism Star stadiums and we need to find ways to counter them. This is the play for Denver. <laughs> Real games. Uh, probably, probably not, but I do like to mix things up once a stream with like a fun deck to kind of keep things lively because, you know, there's an audience for the purely competitive stuff, but you only want to see so many games of just straight, like, Pika Ramen Zapdos, right? So you got to, like, put some flavor in the stream, right? 
so that you have a little bit of flavor there or else, you know, or else it just gets boring. So I'm going to do my best to make the content both competitive and fun. That's the line that I try to walk on this channel. How do you be competitive and fun, right? Because I think that that gives the channel the most chance of being uh, successful. If we go pure competitive, our, comp our pure competitive audience is only so big. If we go pure casual, right, then uh, I leave out some of the competitive audience. So I want to be both so that, you know, so that we have the best of both worlds. All right, we've got Cynthia here, and my opponent appears, uh, appears to be playing an Executor deck. Okay, cool, I see it. We'll go here, and we're just going for the turn two Rare Candy Venusaur. Come on, deck. Almost got there. Man. All right, looks like we're going to have to pass again. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Okay. If my Shaman gets knocked out, how mad am I going to be? Uh, not as mad as if any of these other guys get knocked out, so we're going to go ahead and pass. Should have gotten a Vulpix. Now we're seeing the... Now we're seeing the bad side of the Dark Integral deck, right? I mean, he smoke showed me with this, getting like turn two huge knockouts. The one time I played it last week, or maybe yesterday or the day before, I got turn two Venusaur and was just out here housing, right? But that doesn't always happen. You guys remember Executor? Executor was a big deal in standard for like a hot minute and then fell out of favor. Though I do have to give it to Executor. I mean, probably has a pretty decent Zapdos matchup, right? Like, if you can get in there and take knockouts against Zapdos, you're probably pretty cool. Maybe not, though. I mean, like, look, it's like turn, you know. It's been a while. My opponent has not attacked yet. So I think, like, probably are losing to Zapdos there, unfortunately. We're going to Sophocles here, and I'm going to Sophocles away, probably a rare candy, and also the and also the switch. That's fine. And we're going to draw a bunch of cards. We got ourselves a rare candy or an Ultra Ball, so I can actually get that Venusaur going, which is super dope. We're going to Ultra Ball away, probably the Vulpix, and another uh, rare candy. That's cool. And get ourselves that young Venusaur into play here. So we've got the rare candy. We've got that. I actually low-key need something to pass my energy to. That's kind of like what I'm feeling here. But it's all good. Maybe we'll hit it with our Instruct. Boom. Can this deck actually compete? Conwa do? Hey. I don't know. It's it's okay. The way I would put this deck is it's better than you would think it is. It's better than you would think, right? I don't think that it's actually real life competitive, maybe. Uh, but it's probably better than you would think. It's way better than you would think. It, it constantly surprises me with how powerful this deck is. But the problem with this deck is that it's just got too many moving pieces. It probably is about as good as Quagnag, right? We'll put it in the same tier as Quagnag. You got Quagsire, Naganadel, right? It's kind of like right in that realm. It's like a grass version of Quagnag, right? All right, we got another Wishful Baton. That's cool. We'll go Energy here, and we're just going to Lily for some cards got an ultra space but no way to discard energy so i don't think i can recharge yet three six nine twelve yeah i'm not actually doing enough here i don't think we got three six nine twelve actually if i had just a, if i energy reload i'm doing enough so we'll just do that yeah let's energy reload up from the nag and what we got Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, that one's seventy. That'll do it. Boom. Right, Conwood. I think this deck has felt like 
better constructed than Quagnag, right? I don't know. I think it's probably, like, it feels like Dark Integral put some thought into this bad boy, and it actually works pretty well. Like, I'm not going to lie. I, I give the man a lot of credit for making these decks, <laughs> like, making these decks pretty good. So, hey, we got there. All right. Venusaur taking a dub. Listen, I'm just saying, like, I put I put my win streak in the hands of Donald Soar, and Donald Soar delivers every time. Every time I've taken my win streak and I'm like, Donald Soar, it's your time to carry the baton. Donald Soar hands the baton off every single time. All right? Every trip. You know what deck doesn't hand the baton off sometimes? Zapdos and Tricky Rom. Those are the ones that end up dropping the baton. Set. All right. What do we got next? All right. Next on the list, let me know. What do you guys want to see Thursday morning? Oh, what should we get rolling? Any requests in the chat? I can go in with Thick Boy, right? I could. You could always go in with Venusaur. That is an option. I do not have a Melmetal GX. In fact, I did not even really know that that was like a thing. <laughs> Legacy. Pissimian Umbria. Oh, Brady wants to see Umbria. Man, Brady, you really is out here trying to kill my win streak, aren't you, bro? Do you think Blacephalon? Oh, let's rock one with Blacephalon. All right. All right. Let's try. We can try Blacephalon. Ain't nobody. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do Blacephalon. All right. I don't know what happened to my Blacephalon deck, though. Like, where did it go? I, I certainly had it built. There he is. Oh, what happened to you? Why are you not? I think, oh, I traded away my Seeker Rare B-String the other night. Yep, that's what happened. All right, first of all, we need to get this muck out of here. I don't, I don't like the muck, guys. I just, I don't, okay? Not, I ain't even gonna lie. I think he just lose to Zapdos, dude. Like, why are we pretending that we beat Zapdos? I don't think you beat Zapdos, right? Natalie says, cut the Eric up for two more, Lily. Sometimes the Eric is good, but uh, I could see it. That's fine. We'll try that. And then, honestly, what, 4-4? Four, four? And then, like, I do want, like, two other supporters, though, so probably Sophocles. Boom. There we go. Get that turn one Lily as much as possible. Let loose a bunch. Lock it. Load it. Boom. All right. Standard. There we are. All right. Let's rock a game with Blacephalon. Oh, yeah. Skirt. That's fine, Natalie. I think Max Lily is good in a lot of decks. We play Max Lily in... Yeah, whatever, Brady. All right. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, we play Max Lily in, like, a lot of decks, so I think that it's fair. I mean, Picaron plays Max Lily. So, I think my beef with Erica's is that it's not really a live supporter turn one, which can be tough for this deck. I mean, this deck wants to have very strong turn ones. That's just, like, all we really want. I think may also look at getting the fourth Mysterious Treasure back in the deck. Just increasing uh, consistency in that way. But looky here. Got everything we could possibly want. My biggest beef with this deck, though, I know I just cut the muck out of here, but, dude, starting Grimer is just such a bummer. Actually horrible. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you put the muck back in the deck, but that just feels so bad. Starting Grimer. I just want the deck to just operate. Just beat the decks it's supposed to beat. And then it just kind of loses to the decks. It's not. Hey, sure enough, there's Zapdos. All right. Let's go. We are going to Mysterious Treasure away. Look, they got the Blitzel anyway. They would have been fine. And we're going to get one of these guys out. And then, I don't know, their hand might be dead. So we're not going to, you know, we ain't going to let loose them. They started Blitzel. You know, it can only be so good. All right, with a hand like this, though, yup, you're getting loosed, my man. 
That is uh, about loose 30. There we go. And the Zapdos decks are not really playing. Yeah, no. Yeah, I already discarded my Lele, so really no more need for bench space. I think we're probably fine. Yeah, we're just going to... Ah! Yeah, I'm going to actually get rid of these. Thin the deck a little bit more. Get another Poiple out. Still have a Placephalon left in the deck. And that way we have the highest chance of drawing good cards off our Let Loose. And let's go! Four more cards. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Sophocles. Thank you, Joey. Pay J Trick. Joey P.A. Thank you, Joey P.A. For the Twitch Prime sub, welcome to the club, Joey. Thank you for joining us. Should have saved that stadium. I'm, yep, don't know what I was thinking there, but it's fine. We're going to thin the deck. This is what I was going to get anyway, so it's cool. And we'll pass to you. Thank you so much, Joey Patrick. For the sub, Hitmonchan Lee Top was doing things in Japan. Okay, we talking about Hitmonchan, right? Okay. And why does that get better with Unbroken Bonds? Because of the fighting stadium? Is that why we're talking about it? I could see it, potentially. Looks like my opponent is playing the rainbow version here. And they don't have a whole lot, but they did have Guzma to knock out my dude. So I'm thinking here, yup, that we're probably going to return the favor just by knocking out this. Oh, no, I should have. Yeah, we should have. Ultra Space first, it's fine. Yep. Never punished, doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. And then we've got that. And we got. I could. Hmm. I can knock it out. But I don't really want to yet. Because I already had to discard an energy switch, and my hand is actually kind of booty. So I think I'm just going to burst GX for a knockout here. And then I'm going to start taking knockouts next turn. And we'll go from there. Oh, no, let loose. Ah, oh, too soon. Too soon. That's cool. And we'll see if they are able to kind of get themselves out of this. Sure enough, they are. They got the zebra there. So no matter what, they're going to be able to sprint and draw some more cards. And I think, honestly, just, uh, I mean, I don't know. Matchup just seems, this matchup seems unsalvageable. It just is so bad. Having to discard or loss zone three energies in order to keep up. Like at this point, I just am proving point of concept here, okay? Like they have not needed a basics ability once right here, and they're just running me. Like, Back-to-back, -back, Guzma, knock out my dudes. They're running me here, and I haven't had a single, uh, you know what I mean, basic ability used against me. So, like, the muck, sure. I mean, it does something sometimes, but I'd rather my deck just be as consistent as possible, I think. Alrighty then. We actually just promote this one. Okay. And then we've got a fire. That's good. We can get ourselves, yeah, this is actually all we have left in deck. So we're going to keep thinning here. Also got a B-string. And we'll get some fire out of the deck. And we're going to throw them on this thing. And then attach one more. We're going to get rid of three energy here. It seems fine. Yeah, it's about all we got. So no Pokemon in my deck. Going to help me draw here. So that's it. Mind blown. And we need one, two, and three in order to knock out that Zapdos. Conva do oh, love you some Turbo Lax. Trying to see some Turbo Lax out here. Cynthia off the prize. Okay. Feeling it. It's pretty good. But at this point, if they can just stream any sorts of knockouts here, they're going to be good to go. If I can find a beast energy, I can start using Turning Point. That's like kind of my best bet here, for sure. Turning Point is uh, is very good. The reason I didn't put my energy onto the other Blacephalon is because I 
think that, I mean, I, I don't trust that I was going to get an energy switch. I didn't have the Cynthia, right? So imagine this hand without the Cynthia. I didn't know I was going to get Cynthia. I pretty much, you know, if this guy doesn't get knocked out, then I just lose, right? Because he's just going to get a double attack off. Here, though, he's, like, comboing off, so now he's probably going to knock out my Blacephalon, and then, like, I mean, then we for sure lose. Like, so it's it's just tough. Is he really about to go in there with, oh, no. What's he got? Oh, that ain't a knockout. Oh, yes, it is. Oh! Yeah, you have a good deck. Well played. Yeah, I'm out. Goodbye. That's why we can't play Blacephalon. Yeah, just not good. He didn't even use a single basics ability, so I don't want to hear anything like, oh, he didn't have muck in there. Nope. You just can't reliably beat Zapdos with this deck. You can't. All right, moving on. Let's, uh, yeah, let's play Turkey Roar. <laughs> yeah, we're going to cleanse our palate a little bit. Yeah, no, can't play Blacephalon, to be honest. I can't. Wheezing. Grammar time. What in the world does wheezing do? Have not heard of such a such a card here. Looks like we're playing against Lolo Papo something. I don't know. Lapa Lapa Cop. Alright, Lop Lop Cop. Alright, Lop Lop Cop. Let's see what you got. We're gonna be going first. Busted. I know. JW, pour one out for Pika Pads. Now it's tricky round. I know. <laughs> I know. We needed to rename it. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. We needed a self-respecting name for a self-respecting deck. All right. They're going to start Lele. We've got the Lily in hand, so this is very good for us. We can Ultra Ball away probably uh, those. Yeah. Get ourselves a Picarom. It's my Ray in deck. It is not. So, we're just going to be using that to discard the energy, which is fine, and there's nothing really worth getting. So, we can go there. Here, Mysterious Treasure. That's. I could get the Let Loose and use Lily for six. It's probably fine, to be honest. Let's just do that. It's a pretty good opening hand. Got the energy attachment here. I can, yeah, attach. I mean, we're like pretty set for like a turn two here, so I'm not really gonna combo off. There's no really need to. So let's just do this. Get ourselves that Tapu Koko everybody knows and loves. Very good. One energy in the discard pile. We'll probably try to get a second down, but with the zero aura there, kind of cool to maneuver about the country. Yep. Huh. Okay. I and mean, I could just like throw the energy onto Picaram. Uh, there's no real reason to do all that yet. So let's just pass Zapdos in the active there. Oh, sick. Nice. Natalie is going to be streaming with us tomorrow, everybody. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to have Natalie on stream. I'm going to have a bunch of uh, sick stuff available promo items, sale items, tricky gym merch, things like that, uh, that I'm promoting tomorrow to help fund the trip to Denver as well. So that's going to be super hype. And then uh, also, Sean and I are going to be doing an auction where we're selling off a bunch of our old cards to try and pay for the Denver trip too. So really excited about that. And then of course, uh, Full Grip Games just got a huge collection of old cards as well uploaded to the website. So we got a lot of stuff, a lot of really exciting uh, Pokemon card stuff available for you guys. But I'm really excited about Natalie gonna be on stream tomorrow. She hasn't been on stream in a little while, so should be dope. Okay, we've got Order Pad and Viridian. That Viridian is really good for us. Let's see, what are we, uh, we going to do here? You actually Viridian for an energy. I think we discard the order pad, get an energy. Yeah, let's, let's do that first. So we're going to get that, get a lightning. They've got a huge hand. We can go um, 
attach, dance of the ancients. Yeah, we just do that actually. This is just the most consistent, I mean, this is just the guaranteed way to do it. Here, here, retreat. In hindsight, should have potentially used uh, the order pad, discarded the multi-switch. It's cool. And we're just going to Cynthia here looking for a damage buff. And we missed it. It's cool. We'll get there next turn. Got a dude here. We're just going to full blitz. And drop it onto that benched Picaram. That's fine. So, huh, should have saved that water pad there. Didn't quite look through the hand close enough. I was thinking about like ultra balling away the lightning energy. That's why I didn't yet. Trainer for life. The schedule is in the uh, in the panels. If you look to the panels, I got a whole section with schedule. But I stream Monday and Wednesday nights. Uh, Monday nights at 8 p.m., Wednesday nights 7 p.m., and then Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's all Eastern Standard. So that's what we got going on. With this board here, hitting the Lele for 150 feels a little bad. It's not exactly ideal. Let loose feels good, though. But I can just clean that up later. I mean, granted, we were always going to be able to tag bolt that thing for knockout, so... This hand here is interesting. I can definitely Ultra Ball for a Let Loose myself. We've got Energy Switch. I've got Choice Band. Got a lot of options to go get myself a Tag Bolt GX here. We do have to be careful. Like a lot of these Psychic decks are playing Mars Shadow GX. So it is something we have to be a little bit aware of. They could just like pop off with a Marshadow GX here. Um, would be pretty good if I can get Wishful Baton into play because if I can get Wishful Baton, then I get to save this energy on the Picaram. If it goes down, Grammar Time. We actually got a bunch of the Detective Pikachu boxes available on the website at fullgripgames.com. If you want to check it out, you can order those. They're available for order now. And uh, we're going to have those shipping out as soon as possible. So. We got those available there. If you're looking for the Detective Pikachu cards, we got those on FullGripGames.com. Sean and I just worked on getting those uploaded to the website. So really excited about those. I really want to get my hands on the Charizard GX. Really stoked on that. All right, our Picarom's getting smacked here for some damage. Shadow Impact, that's fine. It's better than a one-hit KO, that's for sure. So let's see what we got here. Cynthia, Order Pad, Viridian Forest. We could Tag Bolt for three prizes by knocking out the Lele. Let's go just Order Pad, see what we get. Heads. All right. So now I'm guaranteed the Tag Bolt, which is cool. I think I just Tag Bolt the Giratina and a Malamar, to be honest. Viridian away, the choice band there. And that way I can keep them from using like any sort of crazy Marshadow play. We're just going to go energy switch there. Energy switch. And then attach Cynthia. We got the free retreat with Zero Aura. And Tag Bolt coming in hot here, so that's really good. This hand is actually fine for next turn. Uh, I can thin a little bit, just go get myself something else, like maybe another Picaram. It's fine. I do have two Energy Switch left in deck. At this point, I'm just thinning the deck, though. It doesn't really matter who I get. So we'll just grab the other Picaram. Then Retreat. And just Tag Bolt for two prizes. We're taking out that guy and the Malamar. These decks, you know, they get kind of greedy with their Malamars. I and mean, we saw that other list was only playing a 3-3 Malamar line. That's like super thin. Now at this point, if I can just keep Malamar off the board, I can make it so that they are not going to be able to get 
they're not going to be able to get like any energy in play. I would be surprised if they can even announce an attack this turn. They might be able to do it with Tapu Lele. It was a 4-3? I thought it was a 3-3 Malamar line. Okay. Well, thanks for... Uh... Oh, okay. All right. Well, thank goodness. I was giving that deck way too hard of a time then. Apparently, it was a 4-3 line. Thanks, Natalie. And then, uh, and then, like, my suspicion was confirmed when I looked in the deck and there was only two Inke in there. I was like... So that's why the confusion... I just looked at it real quick. I only saw three Inke. And then I looked in my deck, and then there were only two Inke, so I prized two. All right, I was going to say, 3-3 three, three Inke just feels like absolutely horrible. Or 3-3 three, three Malamar feels horrible. But 4-3, I can, I can see a 4-3. That, that is fine, especially if you're playing like a ton of search items. I can justify that. Now, ooh, we are getting let loose again. <laughs> is it actually a 4-4? Four, four? <laughs> and now I'm just completely tripping, right? I don't know where in the world I got that idea. All right, the Wishful Baton is out here. That's cool. And I got myself Electro Power and Guzma. I think we're just going to, you know, look for that other Malamar to knock it out and keep my opponent's board just completely clear of energy. Put the Wishful Baton on the active Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX. I know, but Jesse only had one stretcher. <laughs> Charizard's best. Why don't I bling out my decks? Because I I have a suspicion that too many blinged out cards, like, I don't know, might slow down the, the frame rate of the game because it's trying to load too many animations. So I try to not play as many reverse hollows as I can. All right, so we've got we've got some action to deal with over here. I think we just go, yeah, Guzma the Malamar for sure. Wishful Baton, Electro Power that I don't need. Let's attack. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 out of here. They're out of here. Okay, feels good. Back on that win streak grind. All right, let's try one with. Uh, Let's try one with, we haven't played Pedro's Zapdos list yet. We'll try that, All right? Runner dude, you might be right. It's just my, that's like my little pet theory. That's my little tin tinfoil hat theory. It might not be real, okay? But I also just, I prefer the look of the flat cards, okay? Oh, is that true, Charizard? Well, anyways. I like the look of the flat cards better. Like, that to me, I don't need that to have like an extra texture on it. I'm fine with it. I like just the, like, I don't need that. Also, it just takes a lot of time to bling out your deck. So I'm fine with just the normal hollows. Unless, of course, Pokemon wants to give me an unlocked account. That'd be insane. All right. Looks like we're playing a mirror situation. It's fine. We will go for the early AOP. Yeah. I guess we go for the early... Early Jolteon also seems kind of good in the mirror because you like you just get that turn one attachment. You get that. Oh, I prized all my guys. I prized all my Eevees. Great. All right, great. That's fine. I ain't even mad, bro. I ain't even mad. Sure. We're going to go here. And we're going to... Yeah, Stellar Wish. Fine. Ultra Ball. Cool. I'm into it. You know what I don't need? Don't need that Jolteon because I prized all my guys. So we're going to go in and probably, I mean, let loose would be pretty nuts, right? I don't really need to let loose, but I could. It's kind of greedy. My opponent doesn't have, yeah, I think they are not getting attacked by let loose right here. So we're going to do it. All right. And then... Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just gonna we're just gonna let loose. Yeah, yeah. They don't have Jirachi, so that's why I'm going for that. Yup, tough call here. <laughs> I didn't get anything good, but it's all good. I ain't even scared, bro. 
I'm just going to retreat into probably my Marsh Shadow turn one. And then pass. There we go. So if they want to knock out my Marsh Shadow, that's fine. We can retreat into Zapdos next turn. Keep my Jirachi on board. They got a Jirachi, but they don't have any way to retreat because they got the Absol out. So the hope is, since I'm going first and I prize both my Jolteons, that the Let Loose is going to put in a little bit of work against their deck and slow them down a little bit. It's what we want. See if we get it here. They got a Jirachi. They need to find a way to get it into the active. I do know a lot of these lists are just playing higher switch cards, which means the Absol is like not quite as good. <clears throat> Pedro's list in particular is only playing one copy of a skateboard. I was only playing two at Collinsville, so it, it kind of feels like the natural progression of things. The escape board gets less good the more people are playing Absol. And then Switch is also just more versatile and lets you get out of Zapdos starts as well, which is really good. Sure enough, they get the busted turn one. Switch into Jirachi, Lily for seven. Hoi! That hurts. <laughs> and they've got themselves an Absol. All right, guys, it's fine. I was like, yeah, they ain't got it like that. If they, you know, get let loose without a Jirachi, but sure enough, sometimes let loose just does yourself dirtier than it does your opponent. Oh, you're going to do me like that, dog? No. No. No, that's, that's fine. Yeah, you gotta, you're going to have to take out the Absol, bro. It's fine. He's probably just going to head bolt. It's cool. I don't imagine that it's swift run time, but... Never know. Might. No, he's going for that bull. I know, Zach. Zach, thank you for the reminder. <laughs> Don't forget about Absol. Yes, very good. All right, we'll still our wish. And Cynthia feels good. Let's be able to draw some more cards into it. Sure. I don't really feel like I need to Guzma anything quite yet. So we'll put down this. We'll attach this here so I can retreat it. Then Cynthia to see some more cards. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just retreat the Zapdos. And hit 480. All right. So we might see a Swift Run come down here. If we do, I've got Guzma in my hand. It's cool. So that's fine. Thunder Mountain in play helps me as well. Prizing both my Jolteons, really, really tough there. You have two Lightnings in the discard pile now, though, so I can use my Tapu Koko Prism Star, Dance the Ancients, get some more Lightning into play. But who really cares when, uh, you know, when you don't have Jolteon? Really, Dance of the Ancients is just very good. Just bring energy. <laughs> on to Jolteon. Oh, thank you so much, Natalie, for the 50 bits. Appreciate it. Ah, uh, Natalie, trying to throw me bits for the Denver flight. Oh, that's okay, Natalie. It's all good. Appreciate the thought, though. It's got an energy to attach onto a Zapdos, and I wonder if this is the turn where my dude is going to Swift Run if they do. Oh, Natalie, second place. On the bit leaderboard, using only free bits from watching Twitch advertisements. Thank you, Natalie. <laughs> Busted. She's been really grinding out those ads lately. He's got Erica's for a nice draw of four. And then I'm actually just going to Electro Bullet and snipe my other Zapdos. Feels kind of bad. But I'm very close to getting a knockout on this guy here, which is cool. I'm going to Jirachi first, because uh, I might just go in with the Guzma, which is okay as well. Oh, let's see here. I'm going to Nest Ball. Getting ourselves, ooh, I mean, Zorora can do some things, but then, like, they'll probably just clap my Zorora with a Tapu Koko GX. Not exactly what I want. So we'll just thin our deck that way. Then, looking at Stellar Wish. Choice Band is good. Uh, that does give me Knockout. 
on the active Jolteon, which will put me down to four prizes, which is great. Okay, so we can Volkner here, get myself an Electro Power and the Lightning that I need to retreat this guy. And then we can go, yeah, there, there, boom, and retreat. And Thunder Salt for free. Say, coolest trash. What's up, man? Am I going to Denver? Yes, actually, I am. So really excited about that. Uh, we made a last minute decision uh, to go, and it should be a great time. We got the whole squad going, and Full Grip Games is going as well, and they're going to be vending there. So we're going to have the whole team on board at full, uh, at Denver representing, and it should be a strong showing. So I'm expecting big things at the Denver Regional Championships for sure, for sure. From the Full Grip crew, from me and my friends as well, I think at this point we probably just lose. Uh, feels tough, but, you know, my opponent went second, and I don't think that they're going to miss a beat here. They were able to trade the Jolteon two for two, so that's like a good trade for them. They don't really mind that. And we're just kind of in a tough spot. We can't even get our own Jolteon into play because we double-prized EVs. <sighs> so, and they don't have to deal with Absol because I had to, like, offer that up turn one with an escape rope. So, that's just what we got going on right now. Now they've got a gigantic hand. I let loose turn one, probably against my better judgment. But it's all good. You know, because the let loose would be very good at a time like this, where they just have, like, a huge hand, and you know, like, they've got all the plays in that hand. Anything that they want to do, they can probably do. Looks like they're kind of saving their GX attack, though. That or they're tossing the Jolteon back in with the intention of using it. They're actually just going for the let loose here, though, which could be really interesting because that limits us both to four cards. Now, it might look like I have a hand advantage just because I've been like holding cards like my Coco and things like that and trying to make it look like I've got this really big hand with tons of options, but I actually don't, <laughs> right? Like, we got a max potion in here, bro. Like, this max potion ain't doing nothing for us. Now, that max potion would have been very good for my opponent if they were able to hit with Jolteon and then max potion. And there's the let loose. So getting loosed here. And it looks like they plan on knocking out my Jirachi with the escape board. So that's a pretty strong play there. Just saying, you know what? You ain't got it like that. It's cool. I do actually have a Guzma in my hand. So I can use that. I could also use Volkner. Either of them are probably fine plays. Uh, we probably just want to take out the Jirachi with the escape boards. If we can. I actually just have Lily as well. So I can Volkner for an Electro Power Switch, take that knockout. That's probably fine. That or I just Guzma, Jirachi. Uh, either way, like it, the play, the line just feels very sketchy. Um, the way I probably come back for this is if I can actually use Tapu Koko GX and my opponent can't respond, but they will probably be able to respond with their own Tapu Koko GX right now. Huh. The question is, would they be able to knock out my guy, though? Yeah, we're just going to go here. Okay. It's fine. Thunder Assault. Not going to play any cards. We're just going to wait. If I draw an Eevee here, I got a Jolteon in the deck. Hey. Then I might be able to swift run. That's kind of the game plan here. Let's try to swift run Zapdos and see if I can't stick my opponent. So we've got the Volkner. I've got the switch. We can swift run next turn so long as my opponent doesn't counter this. And then hope that my opponent doesn't have Guzma around my swift run or escape rope. But they probably will. So it's just... Uh, uh, it's just a tough spot. 
But this is how almost every single Zapdos mirror I've seen plays out. There's so little that you can do to stop your opponent after they've taken the first prize card. Uh, just is a very linear matchup. You kind of just like keep trading, trade, 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 and then the game ends, right? Especially now that the lists are like super streamlined. Especially when the lists are just playing Vulcaners, you almost never miss an attack when you just have Vulcaner turn after turn. Whoa! They didn't have it. I don't know if he forgot or if he just didn't have it. But now my opponent loses. <laughs> now you lose. That's just it, buddy. Uh, here we go. Oh, it's game time. Give me that Jolteon. Sick. Switch. And Lily. Draw some cards. Into it. Yeah, we'll just uh, Swift Run GX and hope that... I mean, that or I could just go in... Headbolt here. It's kind of a high greed play. I think I just swift run GX and just say, you know what? It's fine. Now they could go Jolteon and like double snipe here for two prizes. That actually would be insane. So I kind of low key have to find my max potion so that they don't do that because they've kind of set themselves up for a two prize turn here with Jolteon if they can get it. <clears throat> If they can just get an Eevee and a Lightning and a Guzma, what? They'll do 60. They need an Electro Power as well. They need... That's a four-card combo, but granted, they are using Stellar Wish. Their hand is pretty big. You're right, Zach. You're right. Last time I was greedy and used Headbolt instead of Swift Run, I did get ultimately punished. <laughs> so we're going to not get punished this time. Just stay the course and be chill about it. And try to just walk away with the W. Be good. They're going to retreat. Stellar Wish again. Get an S Ball here. Let's see what they get. Probably an Eevee. They're probably trying to. No? Just a Zapdos. Okay. And they're going to rope around my thing here. Now, I want to avoid. I want to avoid the multiple prize turn. So I think I just promote my Marshadow. Uh, now I guess like, uh, maybe I promote a Zapdos there and just make it better. But either way, I didn't want to lose the Zapdos because it all felt bad. So let's, uh, he's got free retreat. I want a Vulcaner for a max potion and kind of do that. That would be like good, I think. Oh, but let's see what we got going on here. So. We need to take a knockout. I think I low-key Ultra Ball for a Jirachi and see if I get anything good off of it. Let's uh, yeah, let's get these guys out of here. It's probably fine. My Max Potion is in the deck. Yep. So I can pull the Max Potion if I want to. I've got Switch. I just need like a damage buff here. Guzma. Guzma works too. Thunder Mountain doesn't work. Guzma. I just wanted an Electro Power, but I don't think it really matters. If I Vulcaner for the Electro Power, I am not Vulcanering for the Max Potion, and I give them a route to win. So, I think it's probably more likely, yeah, let's just, let's do that. Let's just get the max potion. And if they have 200 damage on my Jolteon, then like, okay, I lose. So, we're just going to hope they ain't got it like that. I'm not even going to put another energy into play because it increases the chances of them being able to do it with uh, Tapu Koko GX. So let's just headbolt here and hope that they can't knock out my Jolteon. Uh, the reason I went for the Jirachi there was hoping that I could draw into an Electro Power 
and then I would have been able to take the knockout with Zapdos. But we'll see. They do have a pretty big hand. They've only used one Electro Power. It's certainly possible, but they do have 20 cards left in deck. So they need, like, Choice Band, Triple Electro Power on Zapdos in order to get it. Oh, thank you so much, Zach. Dude, Zach is the champion. Really appreciate the encouragement and the bits there, Zach. Big shout out to Zach for being awesome. You have a great day, dude. And uh, hopefully you have, uh, you know, an awesome day, whatever you're doing. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for the support, man. You rock. As always, always a pleasure, Zach. Having you on board, man. Watch out for polar bears up there. In Canada. As Zach told me, <laughs> there was like a polar bear walking through his town the other day. Dude, got me messed up, man. Polar bears are scary. Uh, they're like one of the most dangerous animals you can come across for sure. So stay safe, Zach. All right, so he's got one electro power there. We are now fully caffeinated, for anybody wondering. Fully caffeinated. Ready to go. <sighs> There's a giant blue bear in Denver? Oh, is that a... That's a joke, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, my opponent appears to be comboing off here, so I think they probably got it with their Tapu Koko GX. They've got all the energy. They're going to Volkner. All they need is Tapu Koko. They got the Ultra Ball. Here he comes. They're going to go... Ah, oh, man. See... I really wanted to do it with Zapdos. If I had just gotten, ah, uh, if I had just gotten the Electro Power off that Stellar Wish, we could have done it. It's all good. My opponent got there though. The triple Electro Power. They have it all in their hand. Tapu Koko GX. Well played. All right, that's gonna be it. Just barely there. Ah, uh, barely missed the win off of our one uh, Stellar Wish there. If we had just gotten it, my opponent was not going to be able to do this to the bench Jolteon, so if we had just been able to attack with the active Zapdos, we would have been able to get there, so. Tough game for sure. GG to my opponent. All right, let's get in there. Every time I lose, I just wanna roll with Tricky, tricky Rom again, cause then I just like, then I win, so. <clears throat> That's the game plan. And just get back in the paint with Tricky Rom and redeem ourselves real quick, and then we'll move on to other decks. Dude, polar bears are not cuddly. I don't really know what you guys are talking about there in the chat. They are not cuddly animals. Zaprock. I have not tried Zaprock yet. I've seen some lists floating around for that. Um. Sir Pandage, Tricky Rom is uh, is Pika Pads with a new name. <laughs> what is Tricky Rom? I only know Pika Pads. <laughs> uh, I knew you knew that. I knew you knew that. <laughs> what is Tricky Rom? I only know Pika Pads. <laughs> ah, you guys call it whatever you want. All right, we've got a completely busted starting hand here. This is honestly like broken in half, like just completely so broken that I can't even comprehend how broken it is. So this guy makes it so that I cannot Guzma. He might be playing one of those crazy like water decks where he builds up the eventual, <clears throat> he builds up the eventual, you know, like, all right, you guys wanna just end it right here. You guys wanna, end, let's, let's end this fool, all right? Let's get it rocking. Let's do this T1. Y'all trying to do this T1? I'm trying to do it. Turn one. Uno. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, chat. All right. We got Ray Ray in there on board. We're going to go get Mysterious Treasure. And I'm ultra balling away. Two lightning energies. Um, I actually don't even need to. I could just knock it out with Zapdos turn one. That's probably the quickest route. I want a full blitz though. You know, we want to we want to flex. All right, I did this wrong. It's fine. I was supposed to. It's fine. It's fine. It's 
fine. I ain't even mad, bro. We messed that up. It's cool. Stormy wins. I was supposed to get, like, another Pokemon there off the Ultra Ball, but I was just, like, a little bit excited, and then I got the Ray, and then I was like, I actually have the Mysterious Treasure for the Ray, so none of it actually matters, though, because I'm about to just, like, smoke this guy. Let's see. We've got Order Pad. I got Energy Attachment for turn. Multi-Switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we just Order Pad heads here, we got it. All right. And we got it. Told you. Told you. All right. This is the second time we've turned one full blitzed on camera today. I don't really know. I you know. The proof is in the pudding, man. That's it. What else do you need? Busted deck. I didn't even play that turn right. <laughs> I didn't even do it correctly. Sicko mode. And we got the let loose. Like, Goodness gracious, what else? What else you want? I don't know, just saying. Deck's pretty hot. Let loose! If there was a way to dab in PTCGO, this is the way to do it right here. Skirt! Full blitz. Yeah, it's a good deck. All right, moving on. I've had enough peek around for the day. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's move on to Vicaray. <laughs> I already know I'm overdoing it. It's called stunting. All right, we need a stunt counter. For sure. <laughs> if you order pad for order pad, should have tag bolted. I know, right? If you order pad for order pad, how could you possibly lose? All right, Al Celestino with your dark deck. All right, so we're gonna play one game with Vika Ray, and then if I have time, we'll rock one with Brady's. Brady wants to see Umbreon. Brady requests some Umbreon love. Tricky, <laughs> tricky stunting, yeah. I know, I need a stunt counter. Some players have a misplay counter. Mine would be too high. We need, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have thought about it, but that's their thing. I don't want to take their thing, you know. So that's like uh, that's Azul's thing, and I love Azul, so I'm not going to take his thing. But we could have a stunt counter every time we stunt on somebody. We get a counter going on. That'd be pretty hot. Okay. What do we got here? We got a turn one Lily for a lot. Feels pretty good. Okay. Yup. And we could also let loose if we wanted to, but we probably don't want to. It's fine, yeah. Treasure. Busted. Going for that Lily. That Lily we all know and love. Yeah, we're gonna Ultra Ball away these. Get ourselves a Ray Ray. You go Ray Ray. All right, yeah, we're gonna actually Lele first because we're not bad. So we're gonna do that. I'd be sick if I discarded both my lilies off that ray. So sick. Stormy wins. Okay, we got some energy. That's pretty busted. Lily for seven with rare candy in hand. What could possibly go wrong except for that? Yeah, it's pretty wrong if I had to say so myself. And then, uh, yeah, I don't actually have a way to retreat this grubbin, so he's probably just biting the dust. But it's fine. We're just going to pass. At least we got two Grubbin in play. So if we, I guess we can Volkner for the Ultra Ball next turn and a Lightning, get an attachment for turn, and then be good to go. <clears throat> Charizard says Umbreon is a thing and is getting better and better uh, every day, right? I know, E-Parks, Azul, oh, Azul had a Donaldsor video the other day. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't seen that one yet. Yes, thank you, Anon, for the bits. Appreciate you. All right, so this is the reason why I don't think Rayquaza is that good. If you uh, if you did get to see my, <clears throat> my video on YouTube today, I made a whole video 
on Rayquaza GX and whether or not I think it's playable in standard format right now. I think that unfortunately it just trades a little bit poorly against Zapdos decks. So it can struggle a little bit with the quickness of Zapdos. It also can struggle a little bit with Let Loose. What's up, Tanish, in the chat? How you doing, Tanish? Hopefully you're having a great day over there in India. Appreciate you stopping by, hanging out a little bit. I know, Tanish is, Tanish is awesome. All right, so they're setting up. They got Nest Balls, they got Zapdoses, they got some things going on. Oh, we need to revive Vikabulu. Now, Vikabulu can stay right where he is. Okay, that is in the uh, yeah the tier Z category. Vikabulu can stay right there. That's fine. JW, are you gonna hop on stream at all, my man? You hopping on stream today? Need somebody to raid when we're done here. Looking for somebody to raid. When are you uh, streaming next, JW? <coughs> All right, so this Zapdos got to go down, that's for sure. Let's, uh, Faulkner, we're going to get Lightning Energy, Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball away, Steven's Resolve, and probably the Lele. Get that. Do we have a Let Loose left in deck? No, we don't. All right, sad. I actually only have one grass left in deck too. So sad. All right, rare candy here. Bring them out. We've got lightning. I've got no, not yet. Well, I'll get rid of that. <clears throat> get another ray. Just in case this one, you know, just in case something bad happens to it. I'm not saying it's gonna happen. Whoop, yep, should've strong charge first. That actually is horrible. It's fine. I still have one lightning energy left in the deck. Oh, three. Okay. Yeah. Actually could not. Should have strong charged first. It's fine. Never punished. We got the dragon break. And 120 damage. That's cool. Still like not bad. Turn two, 180. Or turn two, 120. <clears throat> and then we're ramping from there. Like every turn after this, we're just getting more and more aggressive, but when you're playing against a non-GX deck, uh, the old version of Ray, I used to play like two copies of Shining Lugia, three copies. We played three copies of Shining Lugia in the Rayquaza GX deck so that you just like would not lose to these decks, right? Now, you could go do that again. I think that Shining Lugia is like very good against Zapdos because Zapdos doesn't hit for weakness and it has 130 hit points. So, Zapdos would actually have a horrible time knocking out Shining Lugia. And then if these lightning decks ever go in with a GX Pokemon to hit for weakness, then you can punish them with Ray. So, yeah, actually, we're going to toss up that Lele for sure. You can have him. So I think, like, you could go back to playing the deck that way, which would be totally fine. And actually, probably just better. Like, you probably need to do that to have a chance against these decks, because if you just have a board with Vika Volts and Shining Lugias, like a Zapdos deck is actually gonna have a horrible time against that. They'll have to bring out Jolteon, you'll knock out Jolteon with Rayquaza, and be good to go. All right, how much damage is this guy doing here? Probably more than I want, but... Oh, no, is this a knockout? Is this it? Oh, that ain't it, Chief. Very. Oh, very good. I thought he had played like another one or two before, but he had not. Okay, so we're actually just going to Cynthia because I have no grass in my deck, so throwing them back into the deck means that I can strong charge for them, which is good. Then, <clears throat> huh. I have Rescue Stretcher, so I can let loose. It's actually interesting The Coco is very good too, brings some energy back into play. I think I actually just want to put the... I have two lightning in the discard pile, right? One. Ah. Uh, we'll wait on him. Okay. Strong charge. Just going to throw those there. 
scat free retreat. It's pretty good. Clean ray <clears throat> and dragon break for knockout. So no need to overextend myself yet. I uh, can. I'm gonna wait till like a more optimal time. I think to like rescue stretcher for let loose and do all that. I don't necessarily like that my opponent used that electro power on this on this Rayquaza. Sometimes I know it just like feels better to do more damage, but especially in a deck where you're not expecting a ton of hand disruption, like keeping those resources in your hand can just make it so that you could take an explosive one hit knockout on like a clean GX later, which could just be better, right? So Especially with one of my let losers already in the discard pile. Oh, thank you so much, Genertastic, for those bits. Appreciate it. And hopefully, I don't know if you guys could tell, I'm having like a horrible time. I think my allergies are just killing me. My eyes are like really itchy and watery. My nose is like super stuffed. I'm just trying to make it like until the end of this game and we're going to log off because it's about work, about work clock, so... It's about that time, but I am having like an intense allergy attack right now. I can barely see straight. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. Too much hydro. No, that the the monster hydro has to do with me also having to use the bathroom, which is also something that I've been, uh, you know, trying to trying to hold off. But no, I'm definitely having like an allergy attack. Feels bad. Okay. So, yeah, we got strong charge. My opponent somehow has nothing. I find it hard to believe, but apparently they have absolutely nothing. So we're going to attach the grass and a lightning bolt to my Lele here just because it's, uh, yeah, just totally fine. And we just are going to stay the course. All right, Ray Ray, yes, go get him. Uh, Dragon Break. Excellent. going to save that Coco Prism Star for later. Need to bust an energy into play. And at this point, we have reached the point where Rayquaza usually does not lose. However, playing against a Zapdos deck, you know they play Tapu Koko GX in there. Like, they could just come and smoke show one of these Rayquazas. Granted, if they did that, you already know that I'm going to knock it out in return. Like, guaranteed, there's no way that I don't get a return knockout on it. Well, you know, I am also low-key out of energy in my deck, so uh, there is that to worry about as well. Oh, it's all right, Alaskan Hero. We did have a good stream. I got a turn one full blitz twice. That was pretty good. I think I played like three, maybe four games with Pika Ram and got turn one full blitz twice. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, it's nuts. And generally, the games have been good. I think I uh, only dropped maybe one or two games, probably with uh, Zapdos. I lost a Zapdos mirror. That was tough. It was close, though. Let's see. Got Stellar Wish. They got, what, something off that Ultra Ball there. Kind of slowing down here. I don't think that there's anything they can do to really come back from this. I only have three prizes left to take. If they take a GX Knockout at this point, I mean, I guess if they Guzma take a GX Knockout with a Zapdos, like... That would set them in a pretty decent spot. But then I'll just go to two prizes, and then eventually they're going to have to take a GX knockout with their own Pokemon GX, in which case I could just respond and KO that, and we'd be good to go. Ooh, they got Jolt Dog coming in hot. If they can use their Swift Run GX attack, that would be pretty strong. But if they just have to Electro Bullet here, that is... Ah, yes. Swift Run GX for not enough. It feels bad, man. It feels bad, especially when I'm just gripping that Guzma. We already got it, so bring him out. I ain't got no energy left in deck, so this is uh, this is it. Yeah, Strong Charge ain't doing nothing, Chief. We, we ain't got nothing in there. So let's see. We got one Recycler left in deck, too. So we're just uh, kind of hanging on for dear life here. Yep, sure. Retreat. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's just going to be that. Yep, Dragon Break. And then I can do some cool stuff with Tapu Koko after this Ray goes down to kind of throw some more energy into play. That actually is a very clutch hit here with the Lightning. I would rather it be a Grass, though. 
I kind of need to find a grass energy because right now this guy has a lightning on him. So we could do that. Zero Aura only does 160. I'm trying to knock out this Jolteon for game. So Zero Aura is not going to get there. And I don't play choice bands or anything. So we're just trying to... Wow, Electro Bullet actually taking the knockout there. And that thing's now at 140. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to promote the Zero Aura. I really need to find that Energy Recycler. Ask and you shall receive, chat. Here we go. Faulkner. All we need is the Energy Recycler. Boom. And we've got it. So, Rescue Stretcher. Bring that ray back. We don't even need it, but I'm I'm going to do it. Why? Because we flexing. All right. Yep. Get him. Check this out. Dance of the Ancients. Bring them out. Two more energy. Bust it. Check this out. I didn't even need the energy recycler. I didn't even need it. But I'm finna. Why? Because it's busted. So there we go like that. Strong charge. Check it out, chat. Boom. Look at all this that we're doing over here. We had win two different ways. <laughs> all right. And we're going to retreat. Dragon break. Ah. Get there. 330 damage. To end the game off and the stream, thank you guys so much for watching today. It's been a great time for sure. Big shout out to all the subs. Big shout out to all who donated bits and gave the channel a follow as well. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, Tricky Jim. Make sure to give the channel a follow if you have not already. And check out the YouTube channel, uh, Tricky Jim on YouTube. Uh, also, make sure to check out FullGripGames.com, uh, which is linked below in the panels. we got a ton of new inventory up, as well as the new Detective Pikachu boxes that we are going to be selling. So if you're looking to pick those up, make sure to check out the website, as well as a ton of old Pokemon card inventory as well. we got a ton of stuff all the way back to base set. Make sure to check out the site if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you all have a great busted day. Take it easy. Peace. And big shout out to the mods. Also, mods are awesome. Thank you for helping. Peace.